Hi guys, Michael here, and uh, here I am on top of the creeper's head. <laughs> yes, uh, just looking over everything. Built myself a nice little seat to sit down on. And uh, I just wanted to basically do a very quick video saying thank you, because I, I had so much, so many people in both message and comment uh, congratulate me because I hit 1,000 subscribers. And oh, it was just, yeah, it made me so happy. It really did. I can't explain it because um, this part of me that doesn't preempt things and I never really think to myself, uh, I never like to guess what how people are going to react. And it was so nice that so many people did take time just to say send the congratulations and that and say well done. It really made me feel good and I just want to say thank you. And of course... I got to the 1,000 because of you, all you guys. And remember, every one of you is important. Every single one of you. Like I said before, whether you comment or not, if you think of, if you think of me having exactly 1,000 subscribers and somebody who doesn't comment or talk or say a thing unsubscribes, I'm no longer 1,000 subscribers. It takes every single one of you to get to where I am. And that's why I'm grateful to all of you so, so much. And so, you know, thank you for that. And while I'm here, I thought I'd also ask, answer a few quick uh, Monsters Monument questions I have. So I'm going to answer them for you. The one I get asked is, uh, will I still do this if I had 30,000 subscribers or, you know, thousands of subscribers? Now, one thing I always try and do for you, with you guys, is I always try and be honest. So I'm not going to sugarcoat anything or you know lie about anything just to sound good i'm going to be honest about it and the answer is probably not not because i want to stop but because there's always going to be a time when i have you know if you get keep getting lots of subscribers when there's going to be too many subscribers for you to do uh monsters monument effectively because let's face it if i get too many subscribers it'd mean i'd have to stop doing normal videos that entertain you and just do monsters monument which eventually would get kind of boring for people I and mean, i know some people already do yeah you know, i get odd people complaining like why do they take so long why do you do them all the time etc etc can't you do them once a month or something <laughs> but you these are usually people who have got their name already on you know, they usually, before they get the name on, they're usually going, where's my name, where's my name, where's my, you know, when's it going to be put on? And then once they've got it on, then they usually either stop talking or they'll say, yeah, why do you keep doing them? So, yeah, it's a case of I'll always keep doing them while I can. If it ever got to a point where my videos would, you know, my videos would suffer, my normal videos would suffer, then yes, I would, uh, I would definitely stop. I have to stop doing them and just concentrate on doing normal videos. But I would always find a way to honour my subscribers in a way. Even if I couldn't do it, couldn't do it with Monsters Monument, I would find a way to do it. You can trust me on that. Uh, another question I got is: When people unsubscribe, have I ever took names off of people who have unsubscribed? Now, when you've got like this, the amount of subscribers I've got now. The answer is no, I don't take any names off because I, there's just too many, too many people. You know, it'd, it'd be impossible to keep checking through the list and finding every name that's gone and then taking them off the monument. And way too much hassle. But did I ever? Yeah. <laughs> yes, I did. Early days, I did. I uh, When I had like 50 subscribers, it was so easy to keep track of everybody's name i could do it right up to 100 i had it I had, I had everything pretty much you know sorted out so well that i could check and find out who'd left and when they left i used to uh take the name off the monument and throw it into the lava down there that surrounds the the slime and throw the, <laughs> the sign in there so in the early in the early days a lot of the early ones that actually joined and then left you'll not you know are not on the monument anymore and uh, their signs were destroyed. But as time went on and more and more people joined, it got to a point where I just left them. Because one, it was too hard to you know, find them, and two, 
I don't know, I just kind of mellowed out eventually and just got to a point where, well, they did show me support at one point, so hell, where am I? Now, there's some people who have subscribed, got the name on Monsters Monument, then left. You know, unsubscribe straight away because they know the name's going to stay on. But I look at it this way, if somebody subscribed to me just to get the name on the monument, then it shows how important the monument must be. If people are, you know, making a special, doing just a special subscribing job just to try and get the name on you know if, if it's that important that people want the name on that bad then it shows how, how how popular it is and how good it is so i take that as a compliment besides monsters monument what else have i enjoyed about this uh serve about this world and funnily enough it's down there where that red rose is that circle now a lot of you won't know what that circle is because it's from a very very early video one of my very, very earliest videos. And it's called, and it were a little thing I did called Defender. And uh, it was where basically I did a circle of light around a flower. And when it got dark, I stood inside the circle of light and defended it from monsters through the night. Now this is way back in Minecraft, like, you know, 1.2, beta 1.2 or something like that. It, or just round there anyway. It was really early on anyway. And uh, yeah, I, did, I was defending it for a night and it was called Defender. So now we'll kill him with sword only. Yes, I am brave. <laughs> and it, was quite a, it was quite a fun little video and I really did enjoy doing that one. And uh, there was a guy called, uh, I think it was PvP Kid, who actually did a Defender of his own. <laughs> it was quite funny really because I survived the night with me but he got I've never seen somebody get get all of a sudden attacked by so many mobs he must have had about 6 skeletons 4 zombies 7 creepers, 3 spiders and they were all chasing him in one go and they just completely wrecked him it was so funny because I thought he was going to make it through the night. He was trying to copy me to, to see if he could make it through. And he got completely torn to pieces. It was so funny. And uh, yeah, it was a really good video. So I enjoyed, uh, yeah, I enjoyed the Defender I did. And uh, did I ever think Monsters Monument to be so big? If you think, if you mean, do I think to be so big as in built like this? No. You see, when I started Monsters Monument, of course, I started with the Creeper here. And I expected that I'd only do the creeper. That was my original plan. I was going to do a giant creeper because for those that don't know, I used to have a server with Fergus. Early days, again, you know, back in 1.2 or something like that, I think it was. And uh, it's where I built my fruit bowl <laughs> and things like that. Well, I built a giant creeper on there and I always said that if I ever... You know, I'd build it again sometime. When when the when we got rid of the server, I always said I'd build it again sometime. So I actually planned just to build the creeper, but uh, when I built the creeper, it just sent very lonely. So all of a sudden, it sent the normal thing to do to build, start building more things. I wasn't originally going to even bother with the anything to do with the Nether, and then I decided I'd just build the backdrop which I think there's a video of me saying I'll just build the backdrop and leave it at that. That's why there's a hole, if you can see it, in the ceiling, in the roof of it there. I don't know if you can see it, just, just to the left of me cross there. There, so just to the left. And uh, there's a hole there, and what that was is, in the nether, you have random pillars of lava coming down from the ceiling. And I actually did a random pillar of lava coming down from the ceiling. And uh, then I decided I was going to do... I'd do the ghast, because the ghast is quite a big character in the nether. And that's why he's stuck right in the corner over here, because I wanted him as far from the lava as possible so he didn't burn down. But, uh, yeah, eventually people started asking for the zombie pigman too, so then I had to get rid of the lava because I couldn't build him and keep the lava because they'd have clashed. So that's when the zombie pigman came in. And that was, uh, yeah, that was that. Anyway, I'm going to leave it at that, guys. I have got more questions, but I can always address them some other time. But basically, this video was just for me to say thank you. You know, we've got to a 1,000. And it, it was really refreshing because it was almost like you guys... Let me get back on my bench. It was like almost you guys were as excited as I was that 
that we got there. And I think that's partly due to because some of you welcome new members. It makes you feel more part of this. And that's what I want. I want you guys to feel part of it. All right, you know, my name's above the door, I drive the bus, etc., etc., I know. But it doesn't mean that I can't want you guys to feel a little bit more part of it than just a, a random channel that some guy started and you know, you're know you not connected to it in any way. I'd like you to feel like you're sl that you are a part of it in some way. And yeah, it really felt like it, how you guys reacted, and that really made me feel good. So, so thank you for that. Anyway, that's it, I'm going to go. And so next time, Monster, next time see Monsters Monument, we'll be putting more names on. We'll be trying to fill up this uh, zombie. We've got to do the sides, the top, and then, of course, you've got the inside of the arms there. And when we've done that on each arm, that's it, because I don't do anything on the head. I leave the head. So uh, that's it, then. We'll have, done the, we'll have done the zombie. And then, of course, it'll be time to do the skeleton, which won't take as long, because he's just all bone. He's got no meat to him. <laughs> he's just all ribs and things, so, yeah, it shouldn't take long to fill him. The biggest one that can take the most, I think, is probably the spider. That is massive. I remember when I built that, <laughs> that was big. You know, because you know, that is like a section of about, I think it's like, oh, 14, 12, 14, something like that, by 8. Then that's about 6 by 6, then heads some like 8 by 8. And then you've got all these, then you've got the legs as well. It's just massive. So, yeah, that's going to take some filling. <sighs> anyway, thanks guys for watching and I'll see you next time. So you take really good care of yourselves and thank you.